Hello Twin Flames, thank you so much for being here, thank you for liking, subscribing and all the amazing comments and feedback you leave me, it means the world as you know. Wow, amazing day yesterday, as you saw I had loads of new decks of cards delivered and I was posting them on the community page, amazing cards, I'm so excited to use them but not today. The angels are saying, wait, use the cards on the table first and then when you've used them all, put them away. Wait for your clear table and then get all the decks out. So I'm excited for that and I've got a feeling that's going to be due in the live stream on Thursday night. So check that out, 11.11 11 UK time. Going to have loads to work with. I've also ordered some sex cards today. So they're probably going to be coming out either tomorrow or Thursday as well. All ready for that. So I'm excited for what's to come. I really know that we're going to be tuning into sexual energy soon. So I'm making sure I've got the right tools for that. So right now then... Let's do a power message for the feminines. Yesterday it was all about staying in your authentic self and we're continuing to do that. But the angels are saying today you may be feeling a little bit floaty, a little bit head in the clouds, you may be daydreaming a little bit. You may be feeling quite feminine in your energy. So wearing girly clothes, you know. I mean, I've got a dress with hearts on today. And I'm really feeling the beautiful power energy of love. The angels are helping us to tune into love today and see through the eyes of love. So because of that, I'm going to use three decks of cards. We're going to use the Work Your Light cards, the Goddess cards and the Indigo cards. So thank you, angels, for being with me and everyone watching today. What would you like all the amazing Divine Feminines to know, please? Wow. Straight on the floor. Straight on the floor today, no messing around with these angels. What would you like all the Divine Feminines to know, please, angels, for this day? For this day, there we go, wonderful. And the top one, top two coming off. What would you like all the Divine Feminines to know, please, angels, for this day? Straight out on the floor. Amazing how they just fall out the deck. I'm sure they're going to repeat again. You know, they repeat when we need to know certain things. There's quite a few cards. It's like they're saying, bye-bye cards. Bye-bye. We'll see you again soon. But right now, let's see what they want us to know. So, wow. Amazing. We've got the Unbound card here. So, feminines, you are raising up now, rising up to a new level of awareness. We've got the full moon here again. And right now, you can only see half of it, which is the half moon. The half moon, which is pretty much what we're doing now. That's where we are now. And we're rising up between now and the full moon. So we're starting to feel lighter. We're starting to let go. And this is why you daydream a little bit, because you're starting to see the end result. You're starting to see the bigger picture. You're not held down as much. All that heavy energy is now dissipating. And I know that you can feel that because so many of you felt that yesterday. And you told me on the, on the comments and on the community posts. A few of you still feeling heavy, but it's because you need to let go. If you've got to get to a place of power and letting go, and if you're letting go right now, then you're going to feel like you're rising up a level and you're moving forward like this now up until the full moon. It says releasing soul patterns, contracts and past lives. So you're releasing the past. You're releasing, you're relaxing, you're letting go. You're just taking every moment as it comes and enjoying being you, enjoying everything that you're doing today. And that's where your power is. That's where your power is, knowing there's beautiful things to look forward to, that your life is blessed and wonderful and that you are superb in every way. And you're being guided and you're being guided right now that when the full moon comes, you're going to stand in your power. You're going to feel strong and powerful here. So just raise it all up and allow yourself to shine, feminines. 
the ace of light you've been training for this for lifetimes so the angels are saying you've been training for this for lifetimes you knew before you came down here that this was a part of your life purpose and a part of who you are so now stand in your power stand your ground set boundaries and know who you are the angels are saying remember who you are and don't be afraid to shine your light stand in your truth today your integrity today and know how special love and unique you are and shine your light brightly because this is the age of light now this is time to move forward and see things from a higher perspective oh wow you're gonna love this you're gonna love this yesterday what did we get we got answer the call we got answer the call remember don't let pride get in the way doorways of opportunity opening for this week look at this you couldn't write this stuff answer the call answer the call okay you're gonna get communication coming in you're gonna get unexpected communication i'll be very surprised if you don't get it this week with these cards popping up so expect the unexpected the angels are also saying what is your soul calling you to do you've been called right now to focus on service to let go to do something for you something you may have been afraid of doing something you're thinking of doing you're contemplating right now turning into your power the angel is saying you may be turning yourself inside and out with decisions right now wondering if you should start that spiritual practice or go towards that goal or that dream that you want to do but right now is the time to really decide. So contemplation is the key. Go within, meditate, have some retreat time, thinking time, sitting on the edge of the sea. This is very much like what came up for the masculines in the weekly reading. If you haven't watched yesterday's readings, I really recommend you go and watch them because we got the answer the call card for the Divine Feminines. And we got this card for the masculine sitting, really contemplating what's going on now. So it's just repeating again. And this is what happens with angels, you know. There's a small timeline between yesterday and today, so not much has changed. And the angels are saying you are still in your power, still being true to yourself, standing in your authentic life. And that's what's going to work for you and move you forward today. But you may have some thinking time, some solitude answer the call so yes it's about communication but it's also about the calling of your soul and you can say universe what would you have me do what would you have me say how would you have me serve you can ask the angels for guidance and they will show you and you know you don't need a reading all you need to do is ask the angels and they will repeat guidance to you until it clearly goes in Sometimes we miss it because we're too busy worrying or thinking or we're mithering or, you know, we're on our mobile phones and we're not paying attention. And the universe could be throwing in a huge sign and it's right there, but you're like this on your phone. And this sign's there saying, look at me, look at me, I'm here, put your phone down. So if you have moments like that today and all of a sudden you walk into the table and bang your arm up or knock your toe up or fall over, it's the angels, it's your guardian angel bringing you back into the present moment because the time is now, the time is now. Wow, you're already doing it. The angels are saying, it says here, stop overthinking and keep facing your true, true north. You're already doing it. And what they're telling me here is, you're already doing exactly what you need to do to get into union with your twin. And what they mean by that is you're already doing the work because you're letting go, you're moving up your vibration, you're starting to see things from a different perspective, you're helping other divine feminines. I've seen it on E, you know, you're supporting each other, you're looking to the light, you're focusing on the good things, the blessings, you're starting to feel good in your skin. And you may have bad days and bad moments but you're not living there anymore you're raising yourself up because you know that you are a warrior of light in this army of archangel michael you know that archangel michael has completely got your back and you know that you are safe loved and protected always from heaven and the universe has got you and right now 
you're on the right path, you're doing the work and the angels are saying you're already doing it, you're already doing exactly what you need to do to work on your life purpose and to getting into union with your, with your twin and that's letting go, raising up your vibration, being true to who you are, being authentic, so release and let go. Somebody commented yesterday and said, you know, I still feel so sad about this journey and you've got to let go. You know, you can't be in that kind of energy. You can't be in this desperate, clingy energy, which we've all been in, where you want to control things. You want things to be a certain way or to happen a certain way. You want your twin to tell you certain things. You have to let go of that control. You have to let go of those expectations because that's coming from a place of ego and it's coming from a place of conditioning. You've got to get to a place of unconditional love where you completely surrender and you say, okay, okay, I accept it for what it is. I now let go. I breathe. I release. I know there's more to this than what I can physically see. I know the creator's got me. I know the universe is looking after me and that everything will come when it's meant to. So just let go because the angels are saying you're already doing exactly what you need to do. Amazing. Every day, I love this, every day is a new beginning. So take a deep breath and start again. So the angels are saying today is a new day. It's the dawn of a new day. Take a beautiful deep breath and know that all is well, that you create your reality, that you can have a good day today no matter what happened yesterday, that you can wake up and make a conscious choice to feel good, to move towards peace, to stay in your light, to stay in your heart space, to feel good and powerful and unique and different no matter what. And you can choose to have a good day today. So let's do it together right now. Let's take a beautiful deep breath in. Let's go. And release it. Oh, three is brilliant. When you do three deep breaths in and out, you feel so amazing. Everything calms down. You even feel it in your head, you know. So know that every day is a new beginning. So today is a new beginning for you. It's a fresh start. Take a deep breath and start again. No matter what's gone on, no matter what happened yesterday, make the conscious choice today to move forward with love and peace in your heart and to feel good. Wow, listen to this. When I reach a definite decision, I commit and resolve to the achievement of the end result I desire. This is amazing because it's continuing on. So it says, when I reach a definite decision, I commit and resolve to the achievement of the end result I desire. And that might sound a bit complicated, but what the angels are really saying there is when you consciously decide to choose peace, when you consciously decide to see the positive outlook, when you consciously decide to see the good things in this journey, the end result will be there. When you consciously decide to let go, everything falls into place because there's no need to control anymore. And all that, it's like you're going like that when you try and control something. And you guys know what I'm talking about. Even if it's something else, not necessarily connected with your twin, but anything that you've tried to control over the years, when you're trying to control, you're like, oh, it's like you're grabbing on. And when you finally let go, you go, oh. Oh, it's like a big weight goes off your shoulders. The angels always show me it's like Jesus carrying his cross and he's carrying the cross. And when he finally gets to the hill where he's being crucified, you know, the relief just falls over him because the cross is down and he can go, oh, you know. And that's what you need to do, feminines. You need to stop holding on and let go. And when you finally make that conscious choice, because it's your decision, nobody can do it for you. We can all guide you. The angels can assist you. But you're the one who has to finally let go and release. And when you do that, the end result is really there. And you'll be able to see it and feel it in every way. 
I bring joy everywhere I go. I am a beacon of love. This is so beautiful. We haven't had this card before. Look at her there in goddess energy, smiling. Smiling because you've let go. And because you've let go, the sun is coming out. You feel calm, you know. You're a half mermaid here, so you're half mermaid. Well, you are a mermaid, but they're saying it's like, you know, you've got your roots in deep here. So part of you is spiritual and part of you is on the 3D. So it's about balancing your energies, balancing your energies between what you can see and what you can't see. And remember, there's illusion surrounding this twin flame journey and you have to rise above it. So when you bring joy in, you shine it like a beacon of love and light. You are the lighthouse that shines out to the masculines and you guide them in like a ship coming in, you know. So the angels are saying, focus on joy today. Focus on bliss. And I may sound like a broken record, like I say it all the time, but it's so important, especially where communication is concerned because <gasps> they just went <gasps> like that. And if your twin's taking your breath away right now and it's you're finding it painful because you're not with them and you can see them and they seem to be in their full glory and power, know that it's illusion. It's distraction. It's hiding the truth from what they know inside. But right now they are facing the truth inside. So keep shining your light brightly and prepare to answer the call. So the angels are saying, focus on joy today. Focus on bliss. Focus on love. And you make the conscious decision to do that. You don't need anything to make that happen. And you might think, well, you know, if I'm not getting what I want, then I can't be happy. And that's the wrong way of looking at it. There's only you that can fill up your cup. Your cup is filled up from heaven. Your cup is filled up by feeling good and choosing to look to the good things in life. Use gratitude as a tool today to see the blessings in everything, you know. Wow, I speak my life into existence, my voice has power. So once again, your voice has the power to harm or to heal. And that's where the fire energy is. Sometimes we get so angry and we speak out of fear and things just rush out of our mouths and then we regret what we've said. So the angels are saying, take a step back today. Instead of reacting to situations, respond to them instead. And this is about knowing that what you speak comes into existence so again thoughts become things what you think about you bring about and what you speak out comes back to you so make sure that you're really speaking good things into existence today so monitor what you're thinking and monitor what you're saying and if you catch yourself having an off moment then you know just bring yourself back into the now the angels say, be good to yourself today, good self-talk, use positive affirmations, use a meditation. I've shared an absolutely beautiful meditation, one that I did with Diana Cooper's teachings. If you haven't seen that, I've put it on the returning subscribers main screen. And you can go and do that and that'll calm your energy down and it'll help you to go into peace energy and know that you are loved. I've done success affirmations, you can do those as well and they will help you to speak forcefulness and amazing blissful stuff into existence as well. New romance is imminent, be open to giving and receiving love. Mother Mary coming through here with the beautiful blue cloak of protection, telling you that you are safe and that new love is coming. And when I say new love is coming, for some of you, yes, you'll have opportunities to embrace love with a soulmate. But this is more about a new cycle happening with your twin flame, new romance. It's going to feel light-hearted. So be open. Be open to giving love. Be open to receiving love. Be open to answering the call. Be open to everything that your universe, the universe, the same, the universe, you, like you, universe, everything the universe wants to give to you because it's your universe and your life and your reality and they want to give these blessings to you now. So open your arms to receive. But the angels are saying new romance is imminent, so you're going to have the love that you desire. You may have it with another until you get to your twin, or you may have it coming directly from your twin, whatever you decide to do. And I know how loyal you are. That card came up last night and I put it on the community post, you know. I just pretty much opened all the decks 
and I just grab like four decks that I was drawn to straight away and shuffle the cards and ask a question. The cards, you should have seen them, they were just flying out the deck and it was like you're loyal and the owls were there for wisdom as well and you are loyal and most of you will be loyal to your twin but you know maybe one or two out of a thousand will want a new relationship and this is showing that romance is imminent. It's coming whether it's with your twin or somebody else so embrace it right now. Sometimes we are like the sun and sometimes we are like the moon. It takes darkness before our light can emerge. How absolutely stunningly beautiful is that? So true. We all have dark moments, but we have to find the sunshine again. We have to be our own sunshine. Sometimes we have to pick ourselves back up off the floor. And if you find you can't do that, then Archangel Michael will say to you, Come on, warrior, get up, warrior, you are strong. You can live another day. Fight another day. Stand up. Look in the mirror and be proud of who you are because you are powerful, unique and different in every way. And that's what's attractive to your twin and everybody that's like like drawn to your beacon of light. So sometimes we are like the sun and we shine bright and we attract goodness in and we create life. Sometimes we're like the moon and we feel that there's illusions around and we have fear energy, you know. So you can't be happy all the time, you know. You can try to be, but every now and again you will go into darkness and you will go into fear energy. But that's when you need to know that you are loved and supported from above and you have all the power of heaven around you building you back up. So feminines emerge today. Emerge like the sunshine. The sunshine coming through the trees. The sunshine coming through the darkness. The the dawn of the new day, you know, be the dawn of the new day because every day is a new beginning. Take a deep breath and start again. Wow, look at this. Release and relax. And we add this for the weekly reading. So that's your job right now. That's your work to do right now. Release the past, release the situation, release everything and relax about it. Let go, know that it's all under divine control and protection and that you are safe and loved. Use a physical outlet if you need to, you know. Again, they show me fear energy. If you need to get rid of fear energy, a great thing to do is scream it out. I love doing that, you know. Scream it all out. It gets rid of everything here. Go and punch like, um, I don't know, a pillow or do some dancing or yoga or do some walking or running or anything, you know, that really floats your boat. Anything that you enjoy doing as a physical outlet to get it out of your body. But I'm feeling movement of your body today will really help you. Wow, look at that divine timing. Divine timing, everything is under divine timing. The universe has got you. Universe has got you, okay? Archangel Metatron, the time angel, has got it under control. And he will give you signs today. And he's saying, if you want a huge sign, just ask him. And he'll show you a timer like this one. He'll show you a timer, the sands of time. He'll show you a clock or a watch or anything. Ask for a sign from Archangel Metatron that he's got you and this is under divine timing. And you'll be amazed and you'll find humour in the way the angels will give you signs. They'll show you signs in amazing ways. You know, yesterday... I was talking to the angels and I was feeling a bit, you know, and I was crossing over a road and as before, the, the obviously the lights changed so I could walk across the road, five huge highway maintenance lorries went past where they went past and on the back he says highway maintenance and that's how the angels always show me when I'm moving about around the earth, when I'm travelling around that I am safe because they are like my highway maintenance team, you know, protecting me, means protection. And they said, right, we're not going to send you one, we're going to send you five in a row. And I had a huge smile on my face because I know that I'm protected. And it's the same for you. The angels are just waiting for you to ask them for signs, so go ahead and do it today. And show appreciation. So again, use gratitude to your advantage today. Gratitude is the key to bringing in all your desires, feminines. And know that you are safe and that you tame this tiger. The tiger is within you. This is you with your this is you as your higher self with your ego. And your ego is like a tiger. 
Sometimes it can be beautiful and calm and sometimes it can roar at you and try and get you, you know. So you have to tame your own inner tiger today and acceptance is the key. And we had this the other day because I said, remember these are forget-me-nots in your hair, but they were showing them to me like butterflies. And somebody said, what do all the signs mean, Liz? The bees and the number 10 and all of these, you know, the, all of the different signs that we've spoken about. All you have to know is that you're, if you're seeing any of the signs that I've discussed over the last two months, it's a huge sign you were doing your work and that your twin is getting on the right path and doing their work. So all you have to do is have faith and be patient because it's your divine purpose. You are protected from heaven. So if you feel knocked down today, if you feel like it's all getting a bit too much and you feel like you can't go on, and I feel there'll be a few of you feeling like this, most of you will be head in the clouds feeling high vibration, but there's going to be the odd one or two of you that's going to feel a bit low, like you can't go on, and that's because you need to release and let go, and you need to be trusting in the universe and the power of divine timing and protection. So call on Archangel Michael, and he will lift you up. And I'm really feeling Archangel Metatron in this card, because they show me the purple there, and that's Archangel Metatron's colour. So he will guide you and show you the way. Wow, and it's about compassion, you know, patience is all about compassion. You'll be happy the patience card hasn't come up today. But compassion is a real lesson that you learn when you're learning patience. So have compassion today. That's the key. Gratitude, compassion, understanding. Release, relax. Have compassion for yourself. Have compassion for your twin. And have compassion for everybody around you. Because we're all learning and growing in this, this school of life. We're all here to help each other. We're all one. You know, we're all connected. So today, rise up from the ashes like a phoenix because you are that powerful. Stand in your power and know that you are safe. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon.